I have many heroes and heroines, but uh, probably as I'm going to mention uh, maybe two that um, they're women actually. Um, and uh, one is Maria Schneider. I don't know. She's a big band writer um, and she's probably changing the kind of the way the big band and jazz orchestra is perceived in the 21st century. I mean, she's bringing in all her orchestral, she writes for kind of chamber music and uh, so all those things, although she's jazz trained, all those things are coming into her orchestra. So it's a much, it, well, it's a very different sound from, you know, the traditional big band and she's an incredible writer and she's also taking on all the um she's suing youtube and she's really passionate about um musicians rights and streaming and all this stuff and she's going to the high court and really support you know she's very vocal very articulate but she's um we had her on a zoom call at the royal academy two weeks ago i um nick smart gave me a lovely opportunity at the royal academy two weeks ago you can actually see it on youtube um if you go to the royal academy site but it's um we decided it'd be lovely to feature some strong women, you know, that are really established. Um, and I, it's funny, I've, I haven't, in the past, the, the thing of having all women concerts um, or all girl bands, you know, it's, it's a difficult one because it's, we've got to, we've got to change, you know, the more, more diverse um, programming and all that, and really, really important. And we're all kind of making an effort to do this now. Um, but uh, it, the music has to be strong. You know, the music, if you're teaching some of these great young people. Um, so now there's enough music, you know, in, in, the, in the past, hasn't been enough jazz, big band music written by women. Um, so I picked five, um, five composers, um, Carla Blay, um, yeah, and Maria Schneider, and uh, I, some of my pieces, and a great composer from Canada, Christine Jensen, who's been into Nigel with her sister uh, Ingrid and, um, and Mary Lou Williams who wrote for Ellington in the 1940s and she was in uh, you know this particular piece I chose Ellington who's a complete modernist um, they didn't record it because they thought it, he thought it was too modern <laughs> so I thought right I'm going to um, get that out of the vaults and it's she's it's incredible for that time and she was an amazing pianist so um, we had Maria on um, from America came and she's oh gosh she's so inspiring and so um, down to earth and the other person for me is Norma Winston who's just on the new Nigel album she's a um, one of the Europe's greatest um, singer singers um, and I work a lot with her she's been you know I think I've looked at her both of these women have real dignity and um, it's all you know there's something about the way they portray themselves as well, you know, in their all their music and their albums. It's it's very much about them and the music, um, and not all the frilly stuff. <laughs> but um, but both of them, you know, it's just they're not afraid to show um, the fragileness of their music as well as the massive strength. So I've always loved that about men and women. So but those two women for me. And Jerry Allen, obviously, the, the, I wrote a, a piece, obviously, there's a piano player from Detroit, um, Wild Oak, the piece I wrote for Nigel was for Jerry. And they've got the same thing. They just, they're very um, strong, but not afraid to show their fragile side.